This quest will upgrade the hot spring to give us 125 stamina when we bathe in it. While I do recommend you clear this quest now, it's not nearly as important as the max HP upgrades. Either way, I wanted to cover it, though in a more limited fashion than the main guides. I'm not sure how difficult these quests are compared to the village ones, or even if they're more difficult at all. Monster HP values can vary from quest to quest, but from a quick test I know that this Royal Ludroth can have as little as 1600 HP, and the village one can have as much as 1920. I've also brought some mite seeds for this hunt. You should have a bit of a stockpile by now. Remember to clear out the small monsters before taking on the big one. I like it, cut you. Now that they're dealt with, I can focus on the target. Longsword and third gen is tricky. You need to maintain your spirit gauge and always be ready to do the spirit combo. Your goal should be to get to yellow gauge. Red gauge is a luxury, but yellow is necessary. But take things very slow. Don't rush it. Now that my spirit gauge is full, I'm looking for long enough openings. You'll often see me do the spirit combo when I'm not hitting the monster. Only the last part of the combo, the spirit round slash, needs to hit. If you think there may be an opening, feel free to do the first part of the spirit combo and read the situation to consider doing more. The first two attacks are easy enough to get out of, but the third part is very long and at that point you're very likely to be hit if you're not careful. Now that my gauge is leveled up, I reset and look to fill it again. While you're doing all of this, you also need to be positioning to avoid Royal Ludroth's attacks. As you play and use a longsword more, things will make more sense. You'll pick up on the subtler parts of what makes one situation safe and another one dangerous. Just stick with it. There I got lucky and one of my hits caused Royal Ludroth to become enraged. They're such small things, but you'll learn them eventually. Once you're in Red Gauge, you'll be doing the most damage that you can, but don't let that change how you play much. Sure, you should try and be aggressive and take advantage of the damage buff, but don't be greedy and take unnecessary risks and get hit.
That was a lot of damage to his tail. I might as well try and focus on it now to cut it off. He's running away. During downtimes, don't forget to sharpen, heal up, and buff again. If you check your status page before and after you take a Might Seed, you can tell when the buff is or isn't active. My attack is now 128. If it falls lower than that, I can use another Might Seed. if I can get the tail. Phew! Good luck, y'all. Until next time.